Hey guys, so it's another day, it's another Toreba video over here. So this prize is a soft gyoza plushie XL premium. It is pretty big, look at that. Uh, 55 centimeters, I believe that's about 2 feet long. It's mochi, see this mochi. So if you wanted to flatten it out, it's probably really squishy. Um, if you guys ever, if you guys are familiar with like the mochi prizes on Tereba, they're like the premium, soft, pliable, stretchy. It's it's really nice. Uh, and this is one of those prizes that I've been eyeing. However, I see how grindy these prizes are. I will just opt to buy it on the secondary market rather than play for it myself. Now this prize in particular is $2 a play. And if you want to win this prize, the way you do it is you have to drag it a little by little to the right. See, so this person, they're trying to position it and use that left claw to move it more to the right. Now the problem is, is that if you don't align it correctly, you can actually stab it back. And I'm sorry for that, you guys. I think it just stabbed back, but you guys might have kind of caught a glimpse of it. Maybe not. And this is why this prize in particular is very finicky. Normally, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, so you'll see. You'll see this left claw. If they don't scoop behind it, you're going to see that left claw push this prize to the back. See? There we go. You got to be really careful with this. So they spent about $4 that you guys saw just to make the prize in a worse shape. Oh, imagine how infuriating this is. You guys understand why I'm recommending to people just buy the prize rather than play for it? Here we go again. This is, see this? If it cannot scoop over here, it's just going to poke it to the left. Look. See? It's shifted. This is an even worse position. Unless they grab this part. Actually, no, I take that back because if they move this front part to the right, it's going to be parallel. And then how are you going to grab it, right? Because then the claw can't, it is not that wide. So we will see how this goes. $6 put in, worst position. This looks like it's going to be grindy, you guys. As I mentioned before, a lot of these Toreba prizes go for about $25 to $35 shipped. Because this is a bigger one, I actually expect it to be about $30, $35 shipped. Maybe closer to $35. But I just want to share that with you guys because $35 is seven, about 18 plays, right? $2 a pop, so 2 times 18, $36. At least if you put the $36, you are guaranteed to win it. This person has put in, I believe, one, two, three, eight dollars and they haven't won anything. And you can see the way they're lining up. Unless they grab the front, they're just going to keep pushing it back. Let me see. Do they? Yeah, see, that didn't grab because it needs to go past here. So it's not just grabbing here. It's past this little ruffle part. Or the little one ton wrapper part. See, this one looks pretty good. How back are they going though? See? See the little wrapper over here? That was futile. I think that's been $10 worth of plays. Can you imagine being one third of the way of paying for this thing, guaranteed, and you decide to keep playing this machine? Now here's the downside. If they grab the front, it's going to actually scoot the front more to the left. Let's see. No, it didn't because the left claw actually grabbed that ruffle part. What are they doing? They're too far right. They're going to poke it. Don't grab it. Don't grab the front. Yeah, see, that was futile. This prize in particular is tricky because you got the big size plus you got the ruffle. So if you guys are playing for this a specific prize, I would not recommend uh, do this kind of sideways ramp setup. 
for lack of better description. It's just too finicky. Oh, is this person recharging? Are they seriously recharging after about $12 worth? My account might be a little wrong, by the way, but it's at least $12 worth. Yeah, I think they're recharging. Oh, this person really wants it. Or did they leave? Because my queue dropped at one. Only one way to find out. Either way, how many plays do I think it will take to win? Ooh, hard to say because... You have to grab the front part and the back half too. And you see this back? You see the ruffles right against the wall? I would not even play this machine. See? That claw needs to go at that ruffle. And it, it just poked right down the ruffle. It didn't go around the ruffle. It didn't go past the ruffle. Uh-oh. Yeah, see, they stabbed it, so the backside is moving even more left against the wall. How do you get the claw behind the, behind that ruffle part, behind this part right here, when it's directly against that back wall? Or the left wall? I'm not seeing it. I think this is futile. I think it has to be adjusted more to the right. Because even if you move the right, like I said, even if you move the right uh, to the, the front part to the right, you're still not accounting for that back side because it's just going to be sideways. See, you, they can't go past this. Like, it, the claw cannot go underneath the ruffle for whatever reason. The only way this thing is going to scoop is it needs to go and actually scoop the bottom of this plush. I think that's been 10 plays so far. $20 worth. Okay, see, so that was not bad. There we go. Slowly but surely. So $20, and then we see the front part hit the bar. However, look at the side view, because it can be incredibly deceptive when you look just at the front view. You see the front, it looks like more of it's over the edge. If you look at the side view, you'll see that only this very front, it's not even really off the edge. It's like just the front part over here looks like it's off, but the rest of it is clearly back on the, clearly on that ramp. So this is going to be grindy McGrindy over here. And unsurprisingly, nobody is in queue. I think you guys have seen about 20, $22 worth of plays. I'm, like I said, I might be a little off, but that is quite a bit. <laughs> Just And nobody won the prize. Nobody got the prize at all. So I hope you guys learned something from this little stream, this quick stream. Look in before you play any machine. If you can, study the machines. See if other people are successful with their strategy. Because if you guys, had, if you guys let's say, you want to put money into this machine, if you decide to whale $50 onto this plush, which I would not recommend at all, okay? I would recommend buying out, right? But let's say you put in $50. You would be putting $50 in assuming you can win it. And I would not feel comfortable putting that kind of money into any machine, especially if I don't see a clear win strategy. And for this plush, I don't see a clear win strategy at all. I will talk to you guys later. and. Uh, as always, don't be a clown. See ya. And here's that side view again so you can see how deceptive it is on the front.